And on this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Innova 33-4A digital multimeter. And while this digital multimeter can potentially be used around the house, it has been specifically designed for automotive use. So not only do we get advanced multimeter features, we get features that are specific for helping car technicians and car mechanics, such as the ability to read RPMs of vehicles, temperature, hertz, duty cycle, and more. And on this video, I'm gonna walk you through its features as well as test it out to see how well it actually performs. So with that being said, let's get started. And as always, I'd like to remind you that I placed a link in the description down below to this multimeter in case you wanna get one for yourself. And the multimeter comes in this carrying case with some good padding. We get an instruction manual. We also get a set of standard leads and we also get an induction clamp and we get a temperature sensor. And the multimeter case is hard plastic. However, the edges are rubberized, which is gonna be great for drop protection. And you'll also notice that they have color coded all the options on here so we know exactly where to plug in the leads and the 3340 has a pretty large display which makes it easy to read and we get quite a bit of functionality we have both dc and ac voltage we also get resistance and diode testing as well as a continuity tester we also have hertz and we have pulse width as well as duty measurements and temperature in f and c moving over to the left we have the ability to measure milliamps in ac and dc we also get a dc 50 nam meter and we also have an option for a current clamp. Additionally, we get the ability to measure RPMs for distributor systems, conventional systems, and coil unplug, as well as an RPM tachometer option. And we also have the ability to measure dwell angle. But now let's actually test each one of the features on the multimeter out so you can see how they function and how well they actually perform. And starting off with DC voltage, I have the Innova connected as well as my hand tech. And we can see the voltage on here. This is what it looks like at one volt, 10 volts, 20 volts and 30 volts. Now let's see how responsive it is to voltage changes. But now let's see if small voltage changes. And while car diagnostics is primarily DC voltage, let's also take a look at the AC voltage capability in comparison again with the Hantec, both of them connected to my house mains. Now let's look at resistance. And again, I have the Innova and the Hantec, and I'll do a split screen so you can see the comparison of both. Right now, this is my resistance box set to one ohm, 100 ohms, 1000, 100K, one mega ohm, and four mega ohms. And if we press the select button, we can change over to a continuity tester. And if I press it one more time, we get the diode testing function. And if I flip this diode around, we can confirm that the diode is working. We should get no continuity. Sure enough, no continuity. And we can also measure Hertz. Let's test it out with the one Hertz signal. And here's with 100 Hertz and here's with 1000 Hertz and finally 10,000 Hertz. And we also get a temperature probe, which can be set to both Celsius or Fahrenheit. And I have two thermometers side by side for comparison. We have 79 on the Innova. We have 87.1 on the one on the right hand side and we have 88 degrees on the one on the left hand side. I'm also going to touch the probe so we can see that temperature increase. Now let's look at the ammeter setting of the Innova. We get both a milliamp setting and a 15 amp setting. And I'll slide over to the milliamp so you can see that. And I'll move it back to the 15 amp setting. Now side by side, we have the power supply showing the amp consumption for comparison. But also I'm gonna show you a split screen of the hand tech so you can compare the reading as well. But before we move on to reading RPMs off vehicles, I do want to point out that the Innova multimeter does support an optional current clamp, and I don't want to skip that option. And what that current clamp looks like is this, it's the 3347 amp probe, which is capable of reading all the way up to 600 amps in DC and AC current. So let me hook this up to the multimeter so we can see how well it functions and how it performs. And you'll notice that I set the Innova to the current clamp option and I have the current clamp connected and I served it as best as I could. And I'm currently under the 10 millivolts equals one amp. 
and I'm gonna measure the same load as before and let's see what we get. But now let me show you how the inductive clamp that comes with the Innova works, which is gonna allow us to read RPMs on distributed systems, coil unplug systems, and conventional systems. And I'll start by connecting the induction clamp, which does have an arrow. This side has to go towards the plug, and the induction clamp is gonna get installed over the number one spark plug wire, just like this. That's it. Now I'm gonna turn the engine on and get a reading. And here's our RPM reading. And here's one last interesting feature about the Innova multimeter, and that is their hands-free mode, because now it frees up my hands so I can probe around while still be able to take a reading. So overall, I think the Innova multimeter is gonna be a good choice if you're looking to upgrade your current meter, or if you're looking to buy a brand new multimeter and at some point wanna work on vehicles, having those extra advanced automotive features on there will be very helpful. But there are a couple things I would like to see Innova add to this multimeter in the future to take it to the next level. One of them would be to have the option of a backlit screen. A lot of car technicians and car mechanics like myself work in dark areas of the vehicle and while we might have a flashlight with us, it's always nice to have the option of having a backlit screen on your meter. And the second thing will be the meter's timeout function. This multimeter does have a timer so it will turn itself off if it's not being used to avoid draining the battery in case you forget to turn it off manually. Now while this is a great feature to have on a multimeter, sometimes I find it a little bit annoying. If I go back inside to read a service manual and then come back to my car and the meter's off, I have to switch it back on again and it will beep to tell me it's about to turn off so there was a couple times when i went inside to read a service manual came back heard the beeping oh my god i'm running to keep the meter from turning itself off so i don't have to go through that whole process now i think this will be an easy fix by giving us the option of overriding it either temporarily or permanently somewhere on the menu nice feature to have but i always like to have the flexibility of deciding where i want a feature to be on or off but i really like all the other features of this meter including including the hands-free mode, the fact that they included the inductive clamp and the temperature probe, I think it makes it a good, well overall package. So remember, I put a link in the description down below to this meter in case you wanna get one for yourself. And if you have any other questions regarding this multimeter, please put that in the comments also. If you found any part of this video helpful, hit the thumbs up button to support the channel and stay tuned as I have a lot more cool product reviews for you guys coming up. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.